everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm Joshua D. Parker, and if you have not watched the Batman movie, click on now. Check out my spoiler free review to get no spoilers. Without further ado, we're going into spoilers. I highly enjoyed the Batman for what it was. The acting was quite good. Robin Pattinson was really good as he was. I didn't. I still have to rewatch this film and really connect with Robert Pattinson having the suit on. It just doesn't fully resonate with me, but I still thought he had good acting as well as Selena Kyle and all the others and Paul Dono as the Riddler was really creepy and I really absolutely love his performance in Prisoners as well. If you have not seen that, I recommend it. And I just thought they had a really good balance with all the crime lords and villains and Paul Dano and Falcone and just all the blend of chemistry and balance throughout a three hour runtime. It needed that length of time to really do the detective work and portray that type of story. But I did not expect it to really be balanced all that well for having this much characters or else it would put, put some to the back burner and leave them for later because I really do hope they go into making more films and I'm sure it's already gonna be doing making a lot of money and encouraging a part two to happen because it's definitely looking like he has his ideas for a trilogy with especially the Joker reveal at the end that was really great in that jail cell scene as he was talking to the Riddler or Paul, Paul Donna as a Riddler and I just really enjoyed what it had to do. The fight scenes were well balanced throughout. It had a little bit less than I was expecting. But all the same, it was well balanced within the detective work. That I don't read the comics to know all the different variations. But it's clear what variation that Matt Reeves was going for with this performance. And with this storytelling of the Batman. And just the detective work, how he was going out. The twists were really incredible how the Riddler was involving the Batman within his schemes and plans and it really shows how deep the Riddler went into his work and then you see the reveal that he was involved as an orphan with Bruce Wayne's earlier life be both becoming orphans and then it's sort of that he, wanting to work with the hero but then becoming the villain story where he's looking up to Bruce Wayne, but then Bruce Wayne becomes so much more and everyone looks to him not as an orphan, but as just a billionaire. And so that's his revenge plot. And I really, I think sometimes that can be overused, but I think it's well delved in with this story as well. And just the way they relate it to the Zodiac Killer type of deal, making the design of the Riddler be similar to the what they believe the Zodiac Killer to look like in real life is just really like creepy but and his it's his performance was haunting almost similar to a William Defoe as Green Goblin just really creepy and it really set the mood and most of the scenes were dark and gritty but then every once in a while there's a pop of color that just really brought you back into the film and but it wasn't too bright to really take you away from the mood that was being set and just how they use the characters involved together and at one point I or several different points I thought they would actually might reveal the identity of Batman but the way they used that and the symbolism of what the mask was both for the Riddler and the Batman was just absolutely Something I did not expect. There wasn't a whole lot of things that shocked me to no end of surprise and like gasping for belief. But it still was consistently really good. And at the beginning I was actually already feeling tired. So it was hard to really grasp like, going into it. But then I was able to bring myself up and the story captivated me. It brought interest and it wasn't like the perfect film there's some flaws here and there with little things where like Cap Selena Kyle was being choked by her father and then Batman saved her but then she gets it right away as if she wasn't being choked for 10 seconds or more and it's 
little things like that that sort of detracted from it being perfect it, that don't necessarily bother me too much but they are there um here and there throughout the film penguin has a pretty substantial role in I was surprised with all they did with that. Riddler, I didn't expect to be the main character, but I guess it did it make sense. And the way they involved it, the balance was just really there throughout the whole film. Highly enjoyed how they did, like, Batman and Commissioner and Gordon. Their relationship was really close. That I did not expect either, but it, it really blended well in the storytelling, how they were working together it did see that they have history and just the way they introduced Batman's character was really good not always going over the same origin story over and over the way they go about bringing him in having everything else and just the different action scenes the stunts all the different settings throughout Gotham City and then the flooding of the city at the end was just something I did not expect for the plan to go that elaborate but it really did work and then having the followers of the Riddler sort of act as his henchmen just was really it, it really neat to see especially as a final battle type of deal and then um having all of this things come together in the end with different twists surprises here and there and then it's going to be interesting to see where Catwoman goes if Heard there's rumors of different spin-off shows on HBO Max of maybe some of these characters or having another movie. But I'm sure the movies will stick definitely with the Batman. I definitely hope to see more movies in the future from director Matt Reeves. And so that's going to be my spoiler review for today. Hope you have enjoyed. Make sure to go comment down below. You can leave spoilers in the comments for this video. Let me know what you thought of this movie. What was your favorite part? What was your least favorite part? And did you really catch any flaws other than what I mentioned? And just leave whatever you want. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Join this writing community as we talk about movies, books, and storytelling in general as we explore more of myself. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.